Try to gather all your thoughts right here, if they've been scattered around. Bring them all to the breath. Because if you want to understand your mind, you've got to find one place where the breath has to come. It's like taking a movie of wildlife out in the savanna. You don't go running around the savanna all day long. You just go to the water hole, and then all the animals are going to have to come. Here, the breath in the present moment is the spot where the mind is going to have to come at some point during the day. And when you hear all the conversations in the mind are going to get gathered right here, then you can see them for what they're saying. Who's saying what and why? And this way you get to understand your mind a lot better. Everything is going to appear right here, and all the tools you need for dealing with problems in the mind are right here as well. You've got the breath, and you can create feelings of ease and well-being. That's a good tool right there. And then the mind is already thinking right here, where you can turn its thoughts in the direction of the Dharma. Because there's part of the mind that's trying to exert some control over all this. So you convert that to being a Dharma control. In other words, looking at things in terms of where there's stress and what's causing it. Because stress is another place where the mind tends to gather, when there's stress or pain. And you can see the mind in all its conversations about the pain, why it doesn't like the pain, why it feels bad about the pain, why it gets depressed, why it gets whatever. And you can kind of sort through those things if you've got the breath as your foundation. So create this foundation right here. And then all the animals are going to gather right here. And you get to take pictures of them, and you get to take footage of them. You understand them for what they're doing. You can see their behavior. And that way you don't have to be an animal, too. And John Cha has a nice passage about having a, ling around, having, excuse me, having a monkey around your house. And if you understand monkeys, you don't get upset about the monkey. The monkey does its monkey stuff, and you understand that that's its monkey stuff, but you don't have to get stirred up with it. If you get stirred up and start yelling at the monkey, well, you've become a monkey yourself. So you think of all these animals in your mind, all the different members of the committee that you would rather not be associated with. Well, this is the way you pull yourself out. So when anger comes, you don't have to side with the anger. When feelings of sorrow or depression come, you don't have to side with those either. You can step back and watch. You've got a good place to stay, so you don't have to go running to the water hole yourself. fighting them off. You can pull yourself away, and they stay in their way, and you stay in your way, and you can live separately. 